Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Have you ever gotten one of those liquid filled gauges and held it up and looked at it and see that there's a bubble in there? The bubble is fine, there needs to be a bubble. Uh, the liquid helps dampen the needle, but the bubble is there so that when the liquid heats up, you don't end up popping the cork on the gauge. There's gotta be a little bit of a, an air bubble in there for it to expand. But have you ever looked at that and thought, that bubble is just way too big? Well, that's what happened to me. Picked up a Marshall gauge recently, opened the box, took a look at it, and thought this is, this is not gonna do. The, the bubble is just out of control. So I did a little bit of research. In this case, uh, this Marshall gauge is filled with silicone oil. Did a little more research to find out where I could get the oil and what would be involved in adding oil to the gauge so that I could reduce the size of that bubble. So here we go. Saw it on the workbench, now here's what it looks like on the street box. As you can see, the process is pretty simple. You just need to be sure you use the right kind of oil. So be sure to do the research to know exactly what kind of oil you need to get. It could be glycerin, could be silicone, could be mineral oil. Just find out what your gauge needs and also be sure to leave a bubble in there. You need room for expansion. I've seen how that bubble has contracted down pretty small when things have heated up on the street bob. So make the bubble as small as you want. Just don't make it too small and uh, see how it goes. I also wanted to toss out there that when I was looking for a gauge for the street bob, an oil pressure gauge, I really couldn't find any kits that were just for street bob or soft tail. All the kits I came across were specifically set up for the touring bikes, uh, which as long as it has a Milwaukee 8, basically it should work. But I decided to go off on my own and pull together the pieces and come up with my own kit, so to speak. It was when I put together the oil pressure kit and installed it on the street bob. I wasn't making video, but I will do a follow-up video and see if I can get some input from you on the opportunity to maybe put together a kit, see what you're interested in. Once I get the follow-up video made, I'll link that in the description of this video. It'll hit the channel like all the other videos, and I would love to get input from everybody. So be on the lookout for that, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride. I'll see you next time.